I mean, let's be real. I really just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, people are... It's like... The, the thing is that... And I'm not going to talk about that specifically, right? But this, this is the way that news cycles work. It can be the most worst, horrible, heinous crime. You know, think of child labor in Malaysia. People, it comes out, the news comes out. People are like, what the fuck? There's child labor in Malaysia? This is awful. I should sell my Nikes. And they should sell them. They don't, but they, they should. You know, and they're like, oh my god, I'm never gonna buy from this place again. Never. And then, you know, the news, uh, the news companies cover it, and everybody's up in arms. They're like, that son of a fucking bitch, they only care about money. And they're really mad about it, everybody's furious. And, uh, the whole fucking country is up in an arms, they're up in an uproar. They're furious at the fact that there would be any sort of child labor in Malaysia. They hear about this, and on that day, they are so upset about it. The next day, they make a hashtag about it. They say, Stop Child Labor Malaysia. Okay? And, you know, that's trending. There are some people on CNN that pull up tweets because that's what journalism in 2019 is. They pull up tweets. They put the tweets on the screen. They say, can you believe this is happening? Look at the amount of people that are trying to stop this from happening. This will never happen in our world. This is 2019. We are above child labor. And, you know, all of the different people are sitting there talking about how morally righteous they are. And all the people that are at home are sitting there, oh my god, I'm so morally righteous too. We're gonna stop this just by by posting this hashtag I'm never gonna buy anything from Apple again until they come out with a new iPhone and then they're so upset about it for a week a week later you've got the advocacy groups that are still kind of involved with it interactions on the tweets are going downhill there are not as many people that are liking the tweets because the social status of being involved with this different political or socio-political movement is diminished because it's not as fresh or as new. Less people are using the hashtag. Less people are talking about it. Finally, a week and a half later, somebody brings it up and ratings go down. People don't want to hear about child labor anymore. That was last month's drama. This month, we want to hear about how Justin Bieber spit on another fucking fan. Hashtag cancel Justin Bieber. Fucking disgusting. Can you believe that? Can you believe what Justin Bieber did? I mean, he just spits on He doesn't even care about his fans. And you know what they don't care about? Child labor in Malaysia. All of these things... They have a, um... What's the word for it? They have a shelf life. It doesn't matter how heinous, how terrible, how awful, how bad anything is. After a while, think about who cares about there being no clean water in Flint, Michigan now. Not nearly as many people as it whenever it was a, uh, you know, a very important public thing, right? People will occasionally bring it up, but it's not really a core issue that people care about anymore. Because it's no longer, uh, you know, the issue of the day. The same thing, yeah, it's, it's a shelf life. It's basically, you know, the, these these socio-political issues are basically fads. You know, this month we're against, uh, you know, not having clean water in Michigan. The next month we're against child labor. And the month after that we're against uh, child sex trafficking. And uh, if it's not that month, months of, uh, you know, we're that month and, you know, that shit's important that month, who cares? And, uh, you know, that, that might be kind of a... Uh, you know, a, a bad thing to say, but it's fucking true. Uh, let's just go around this guy. I didn't want to deal with him. Uh, fuck him, dude. Uh, some water, please. What would happen to your teeth? Uh, we'll see what's gonna happen, okay? 20 gifted sub. Let me read these real quick, okay? Suge Knight. Thank you very much for the 20 gifted community subs. I appreciate that very much, man. Thank you, 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 thank you so much, Suge Knight. Thank you very much, man. I fucking appreciate that very much. Let me go all the way up here. Sorry if I missed that at the beginning. That's my bad. Uh, it's called an Overton window. No, an Overton window refers to what is actually acceptable in, like, the conversations about political things. So, like, for example, like, having ideas that, like, you know, you should remove certain races from the world is outside of the Overton window. Uh, you're, you're talking, this is basically an attention span here. Overton window is what's acceptable, uh, political discourse. Not necessarily, uh, how long that discourse is acceptable for. Uh, so, I, th those are two completely different things. But, heal me? Yeah, they probably should do that. Uh, checking out Bernie Sanders. Yeah, that's another good example. 
Like, who cares about the 99% of the uh, of the country owning only 20% of the wealth and then 1% owning all of this other wealth? You know, Bernie says that now, and people are like, all right, come on, Bernie. Come on, man, we need a new hashtag. Like, I'm not going to get any likes by retweeting this. People aren't going to know that I'm special by retweeting this. They're going to think I'm old and boring. You know, that's all there is. Phenomenon of capitalism. It's not capitalism at all. I think it's just the nature of, you know, people that want to use social issues as form of, like, uh, a political, or sorry, uh, like social capital. You know, that, that's, that's really all there is to it. People always want to be fresh and new, and, you know, social media websites create that as well. It's, uh, it's a very, very common thing. Uh, people are retarded. Fads expire just like your hair. Yeah, that's true. That's, that, yeah, that, that's, okay. Uh, it's pretty much it. Yeah, there you go. Do you have the Riddler's Time Worm? Yeah, I got that on, like, day one, dude. I got that a long fucking time ago. Uh, all these people that are like that are going on another mission. Um, one like equals one prayer. Yeah, that's how you really know that things are going to change, is whenever a tragedy happens in another country, and everybody changes their Facebook profile to that country's flag. I mean, that, that just solves the problem right there. And, uh, you know, that's about it. Or uh, they, they tweet about it or something like that. These people don't give a fuck. They're just doing it for social credit. That, that, that's all there is to it. Once you realize that, everything else becomes a lot more clear. Uh, Alright, let's just... Uh, wait, do we even need to kill any of these... Yeah, guys, if we don't need to kill these bosses, we just we shouldn't even kill them. But uh, let's at least kill this guy for now. Do you think there's close analogy between what happens uh, between drama? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that Talisian and Avatel thing, right? Like, that was a big drama thing. Everybody was paying attention to it. Everybody cared. And then after a little bit of time, now nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares what happened. Nobody cares why it happened. It doesn't matter at all, right? And, and it doesn't matter how terrible of a thing that you do. All you have to do is wait, and it will go away. Because people don't want to talk about the same shit all the time. They always want to have something new to complain about. And uh, that's all there is to it. People want the world to change, but they believe it should happen within a week. Well, they don't believe it should happen within a week. That's just how long their attention span is. So if it doesn't happen within a week, they stop paying attention. And so if it does change, then that's great. But uh, if not, they're on to the next thing anyway. Uh, that's it, man. Uh, do a 200 gift to get the mount. If I get this mount, I'll give 200 subs. Yeah, 100 fucking percent, dude. I'm ready for it. Uh, I've been working on this for a while, and I think it's about time to make it happen. Uh, let's fucking do it. Okay, uh, I don't know why we're gonna kill all these bosses, but let's just kill this boss and move forward, since, uh, we're already right here. Uh, talk is cheap, the real work is hard. Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, like, it's much easier to just put a hashtag and just, you know, like, act like you're doing something. But, uh, I mean, and, like, awareness matters, right? I'm not saying awareness doesn't matter, but it's not the only thing that matters. But it is the only thing people do. So that's about it. Uh, your fucking t-shirt? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the people change their social issues as often as I change my t-shirt. Exactly. Send in-game whisper about weird text in-game. Uh, well, don't send me in-game whispers. I'm gonna be ignoring them. Uh, I, 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 I can't keep track of in-game whispers, man. Uh, like, if people, like, people use that as, like, a direct line to communicate with me, and uh, I've gotta give them personal attention, not over my chat. No. Just talk in chat. If you get your message ignored in chat, it's probably because it was stupid to begin with. Alright, let's go this way. Let's kill this fucking boss. It's time for our mount. Let's make it happen, boys. Today is the day. Let's get it done. Do I those people that use whispers? Well, yeah. I mean, they don't understand computers. They don't understand the game. They don't understand anything. So what a surprise that they're going to have a hard time communicating with people. Uh, yeah, there it is. You better fucking get them out. I know, man. It's going to be great. I'm excited. My message always gets ignored? No, it doesn't, Thoringer. No, it doesn't. Just It literally just did not. Uh, I try not to ignore everybody's message. Uh, okay, we pulled this guy. Yeah, I mean, I do my best to, like, read chat and, you know, go through all that and, uh, etc., right? Uh, just saying it, Chief? Oh, what is it? Uh, I'm not even sure. Are you ever gonna do a screenshot stream? Yeah, I mean, it, it's... I mean, I will eventually do that. I mean, I don't really know when it's going to happen, but it will eventually happen. Yeah, it's like, I don't... You guys might- oh, I, I aggroed because I'm stupid. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just a big fucking idiot. Uh, I, I never really make tweets whenever, like, a- uh, And this is, like, probably, like, just me being overly cynical. But I never make tweets whenever any sort of a, uh, you know, like, a tragedy happens. So, like, you know, if there's a shooting of the week or whatever it is, I never say how long are we going to keep letting this happen or whatever, right? Or, you know, retweet some mental health awareness website for, you know, whatever. I never do that because I just feel like it's for cheap likes. Uh, I don't know. It's just, 
Uh, every once in a while, I make an exception, but uh, for the most part, I just I just don't do it. It's just cheat. Yeah, the shooting of the week. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. Uh, we're on a collision course as soon as human life might be marginalized. Well, yeah, I mean, because global warming is going to heat up the planet and kill everyone. But hopefully before then, I can get the Enverot mount. So let's see what we're going to do here. Let's make it happen.